Welcome once again to the Calder Music Workshop, everybody. My name is Call Bloom, and I'm all out of stupid nicknames to give myself. So here we go. Final video of the Black Walnut Boomstick Fabrication Series. Um, I've got lots to do. I've got three bridges to install, headstocks, end pins, um, and everything else that's arriving in the mail, all the tuning machines and whatnot. And I'm going to try to cram that all into one video. I want to share with you uh, a song. This is by my good friend Elizabeth Landry. Um, and it's one of the first songs that I ever recorded on one of my own uh, instruments. This is called The River, and this is going out to all the local artists and musicians, wherever you live, uh, who struggle and create and keep it real. Love y'all. There is a place where we shout out. Very good. Uh, I got these uh, uh, Brazilian ebony bridges uh, roughed out. Um, once I get the strings and the tuning machines on this thing, I'll I'll finish those up. In the meantime, I've got the end pins to, to get on here. So here we have the shotgun, and what we're going to do is take one of the threaded rods. This is high quality stainless steel tubing from a custom closet install that I did, and this is some leftover material. I love to recycle, and so uh, this is going to be embedded in the body right here and then the adjustable part will be the solid uh, stainless rod that will be able to go back and forth and the idea is that you remove this after playing when you put it back in the case so you can just pop it on there and, and, and go. We will all work hard Yeah, our hands will crumble and heal The small town is just Waiting for the spring from the wreckage We've come to love and love still And sometimes this love will bring troubles But troubles just a state of mind Just free yourself from these troubles we hide in this troubling state of mind. All right, I've been looking forward to getting these guys on here for a while now. Uh, this extra one here will be a Wamola. In the meantime, these guys are gonna go on the uh, boomstick number three here, uh, and it's going to be E, A, D. And I'm uh, going to use these beautiful Grover 145C Titans. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, let's get to it.
the tuning machines on. They look gorgeous. I love having the silver with the silver. Uh, the uh, the last one I made <clears throat> had uh, gold tuning machines, but I like this much better. So beautiful. But anyway, I got a show in a little bit with Sloppy Lizzie. So uh, I'm gonna call it an evening. Tomorrow we'll get back. We're gonna put these end pins together and get those installed. Headstocks. Continue on with all these final details. Yeah. All right. Well, we got those three end pins finished. They're functional, real nice. Um, all we gotta do is give them a little final polish, and they'll be good to go. We're gonna glue the headstock in place, and while that glue is drying, we're going to do a final shaping and smoothing of my uh, Brazilian ebony bridge here. Uh, and I got the pickups now, just arrived in the mail, that'll be sandwiched in between there. This will darken with time, this is where I did some contouring. The Brazilian ebony will darken once it's exposed to oxygen, be more like this color. And uh, this is the material that we're gonna right now use to make the three nuts for these headstocks. So, yay! Yeah. So now we're gonna get the bridge on this guy. Got uh, got it here all sanded down, got our hardware. We've also got um, our screw eyes so that we can end this uh, steel rod here. And we're gonna mount that, or that we're gonna create sort of a little bracket here that the strings will pass under, and actually the E-string will pass over uh, to, uh, to go down to the tuning, tuning machines. So, uh, yep, let's get this guy on there.
got the first of them strung up. I'm ready to try it out. Uh, as I expected, the strings are quite a bit higher than I'd like, uh, but I kind of did that intentionally. Better, better too high than too low. You can't fix too low. Uh, so we're gonna adjust that in a bit. Um, two new machines, the winders turned out real good. Got the pickup on there, got her plugged into my Jens Benz. And so yeah, let's give her a try. Uh, no EQ, no nothing, just straight through the amp. Let's see what happens. That's sweet, love it. So um, obviously, as you probably noticed, I have to, I still have to install the hip brace and the uh, guitar strap locks. Um, that'll make it a lot easier to play. It's a little bit awkward without uh, something to to sort of support it. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm um, gonna finish those up in a minute. Get the other two strung up, and uh, oh man, it's looking real good. Super stoked. Woo! are in place Got no reason to believe my life's a waste I never stop to wonder why I never hurt to say goodbye Alright, now it's time to make our three hip braces uh, I make these out of a section of five gallon bucket and uh, this one you can see uh, was a white bucket I painted black on the prototype but uh, for these guys, I decided to step up the game a little bit, and for the first time in my life, I actually bought a bucket. But anyway, it works great though. It's just the right curve. It looks pretty cool. Um, this way, you know, the black bucket, it won't, uh, it won't chip and get looking all funky with time. They screw into those threaded wood inserts we just installed. So uh, got all the hardware I need. Just put them together. And I see. So here we have the finished hip brace. Uh, it's nice and shiny, you got the felt on the inside. This combination of washers right uh, right there at the pivot point, there's a fiber washer and a metal washer, and that allows this thing to, uh, to rotate like this. So you can adjust it on your hip to get you know any combination of angles you want. Uh, also, the most important part though of having those uh, that fiber washer is the fact that I'm using the realist pickup which picks up body noise. Any any metal grinding, any rattling, um, anything like that. Uh, and so there can't be any loose parts whatsoever. Uh, if, if you were to have two metal washers here, uh, you'd get this loud grinding noise that would come through the pickup and you'd hear that. So putting that fiber washer in there, it completely eliminates that, makes it nice and silent. Uh, so all you get is that nice pure boomstick tone. Can you hear that? No. No, you can't. Alright, well, you know, it seemed like I'd never get to the point where I'd be able to say this, but we've got one of three boomsticks finished. Here she is. Just gotta give her a little bit of a spit shine and she's ready to go. Yeah! You know, what I didn't really show you guys much of is how much back and forth it takes to get this bridge just right. That probably takes, uh, of the whole finishing process, is what takes the longest is getting the strings the right height, getting the nut dialed in just right, 
you know, and, and all the little fine details that make this thing actually play well. And it does. Uh, I was messing around with it a little earlier. Um, I'm going to keep moving though, get the rest of these guys done, and uh, yeah, almost there. Walking along my lonesome road, and all my motives are in place. I got no reason to believe I'm losing face. I never stopped to wonder why, never heard to say goodbye to what I left behind. Dude, this is so good. Holy shit. I think the action is still a little bit high on the D string, but holy shit, I love this. This is so good. This is this is no EQ, no nothing. This is going straight through the gens. Um, dude, you could play this on stage just as it is, straight through the amp, uh, no problem, and do just fine. This this needs almost nothing in terms of EQ. Oh, this is gonna sound so good when. Oh my god, dude, I don't even wanna sell this. Holy shit.
your soul flotation The groove is soft and soothing Got your mind 